guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Sunday, May 2nd, 2021. Welcome to another New York City exploration video. Today we're going to be looking at the Harlem River Drive viaduct that leads to 178th Street. We're going to also look at High Bridge Park and I'm going to show you how it is now skater friendly. So if you're a skater and you live near Washington Heights, you might want to check out this very interesting park. So let's get started with my very in-depth look at the ramp connecting the Harlem River Drive to the George Washington Bridge and Amsterdam Avenue. Here you can see what it looks like looking down from Amsterdam Avenue. Many years ago, this looked completely different. So what you see right now on the right here, this is the ramp from the lower level getting onto the Cross Bronx. This is the common ramp from the bridge getting onto either your Harlem River Drive or your Amsterdam Avenue. I'm now going to walk down the ramp that's going to connect down to the Harlem River Drive. The green fence is original but the other larger fence is not original. This is looking down the way it is now and I want you to pay special attention to a few things because the next picture is really going to shock you. First of all, right here, this is the ramp from the old long sealed off tunnel which was actually called the 178th Street Tunnel. I have never seen this open for traffic. I believe it was built around 1940 before the Trans-Manhattan Expressway and they shut it down I'm going to guess late 50s early 60s once they opened the Trans-Manhattan Expressway from the lower level. So I never got to see this open myself but in the next frame, like I said, you're going to be very shocked at what you see. This is the way it looked in 1940. So let me do a little explaining here, first of all. Right now, most of these ramps are gone. This one is totally gone. This is gone. This is gone. This does exist. I tried to draw the common contour of this ramp which goes out to Amsterdam Avenue at 174th Street. Where I'm standing now would be maybe just off camera right around here and I showed you the ramp that goes down which would be right here okay right around here it's not even built yet of course. Now looking further down you'll see I have the word stub. This whole structure from end to end was demolished. However, they left the little stub which we're going to talk about shortly. So let's continue on our way. See this is the way it looks now. Completely different from what I just showed you in the previous picture. We're going to walk down. The foliage is finally coming in. And for those of you guys that mistakenly think I have a sunny day we had one hour of sun and by the time the video is halfway through the clouds will be here and by the time the video has ended we'll already have showers. Now we're walking down to the ramp that's looking backwards. You can see it's a lot more built up now than it was in 1940. Now right here I'm gonna get a closer look at this in a minute there used to be a light pole here, just like this one, okay? Funny story and true. One day I was sitting in my car right about here, it was a rainy day of course, waiting to get on the highway. A car comes flying around here, loses control, kablammo, hits the light pole right there in front of me, bang! The globe comes flying down, crashes into the street unbelievable but true. This is an absolutely terrible design 
getting on to a major highway from the left lane. It's very difficult, very, very difficult, and there's often accidents right here. There's a better look at the base of the extinct light pole. I don't think they're going to be putting one back up there. I should tell you that the reason I'm covering this today is because New York City does have plans to replace this entire structure. And when they do, I'm going to cry like a baby. Because this, my friends, is an engineering marvel. And it's just so freaking photogenic. What I'm showing you here is there are a bunch of homeless camps in the woodwork. There's a guy right around here. You'll get a better look at him shortly. Graffiti guys did that. That's coming off the bridge. See that? This is original. If you go back to that picture I showed you from 1940, this is all original original. At the end of the video, we will be walking under here. You got something to look forward to. See, there's a close-up view of that particular homeless camp that I told you about. We're now starting the original section of the viaduct. These steps are in Highbridge Park, and as I said later in the video, we'll be at the base of these steps. Highbridge Park is so big and so huge, it's going to take me several videos to cover the entire thing. Here you can see how some of the original concrete has worn away. I am not a fan of concrete on bridges and viaducts. Now you're probably wondering why the divider here is concrete. Why did they take it out and put this concrete section in? Believe it or not, a few years ago, a section of the roadway caved in. So what they did was they closed right here, they closed this, and they had both sides running on the opposite side, one lane each way. I'm going to give you a closer look at that area when we get down there. Okay, we're getting down a little further now. This lighthouse is not original. It was rebuilt, oh my God, probably at least 30 years ago. What happened was a homeless guy climbed up the structure and set the place on fire, burned it to the ground with him in it. So the city finally rebuilt it. Also, this divider is not quite original. What is original is the concrete section you see at the bottom. See it's only about six inches high. I can't tell you how many times vehicles lost control, hopped it, and went into oncoming traffic. Finally, in about the year 1980, I'm going to guess 1986 or so, they added the metal guardrail on top after reinforcing the concrete, just for safety's sake. Here you can see trees are growing right out into the traffic lane, and the city is doing nothing about this. Earlier I told you about how they closed down this side of the roadway. Here you can see one of the steel plates because a pothole formed and it fell right through. So basically if that plate was not there, you would be looking underneath at Highbridge Park. This is original since 1940, although the pavement has been repaved, I would say probably at least 10 times. But the problem is the infrastructure is weak. The original concrete is compromised because of the salt air from the Harlem River. So this is going to be a recurring problem. Here's a very good example of how it's undermined. The asphalt is undermined. You can see all the cracks and all the road salt and the rain get in there and they cause potholes. Over here you can see the expansion joints. We're continuing down and we're almost at 
the infamous stub that I talked about earlier. Here comes the stub. This, I'm imagining, was a light pole back in the day that was never replaced. Now, here, again, is that light pole. This apparently was for some electrical conduits for the lights that no longer exist. This is an apt, I'm going to call it aftermarket, an aftermarket junction box for the current lights that probably half of them don't work. All my life, I never knew what this stub was about. I honestly thought that they designed the road with this stub in it in case somebody had a flat tire or broke down, they could pull their car right in here and change the tire. I only learned about this stub and the picture that I showed you earlier about two years ago from the Historical Society. All my life, I had no idea why this stub was here. Obviously, you can see trees are growing right out from the sides of the stub. See it? That's the way the stub looks. Most people don't even notice it. But it's something that always mystified me, and I'm telling you something. I was the most shocked person when I was given that picture and somebody explained to me about the demolished ramps from 1940. Now we're going to continue down a little further, and as you can see, as I promised you, the clouds are already rolling in. The bridge here is High Bridge. I've covered this numerous times, and I'm going to keep covering it because I love it. I, I love this ramp. It is so old, original, and photogenic. They don't make them like this anymore. This is an original wall underneath the highway. This is High Bridge Park. Truthfully, I'm not exactly sure what the wall signifies or why it was built. Here you can see the expansion joints have been repaired many times. I don't quite get what this square of concrete is here. This really mystifies me. I understand this is all part of the expansion joint here, but this is kind of weird. Again, here you can see how the divider was refurbished. This is original. This is where they added on concrete because the concrete eroded away. And here, of course, is the guardrail that was added in the mid-80s. Continuing down, here's another junction box. Here you can see wires from a dead pole. These are not live, or at least I sure hope they're not. We're continuing down under the arch now, and needless to say, trucks are not allowed on the Harlem River Drive or on this ramp. But if you guys remember, I made a video about two years ago where a tractor trailer actually got on this ramp. And if you check my videos from about two years ago, you will see one right in front of me going under this arch, which is, of course, High Bridge. Another dead light pole. All original. And now I'm on the far side of High Bridge. Heading south down onto the highway. As you can see, they cut out a section of roadway here that was weak and they replaced that. Now this area here is extremely interesting and I bet nobody really knows the history here, but I'm going to tell you quite a bit about this. This entire section right here, look, starting here and here was all removed and rebuilt, including a large rectangle right here. Okay. First they did this area. What happened was years ago this whole section caved in. So what they did was they put wood right here. So if you were driving down the highway you would not see the fact that the entire roadway had caved in and you could see the roadway underneath. I'm probably the only person who knew about this. I would like to point out that I've noticed it's always very common for the outside of the roadway 
to become compromised faster than the inside. And I think it's because this section hangs over and is more susceptible to the cold weather, plus, of course, the effects of the salt water from the Harlem River. Later on, when I'm done exploring up here, we're going to go down, we're going to come under here, and I'm going to show you how some of the beams were replaced. And you'll see the extent of the rot of some of the beams that still exist. Now this section here, you may also remember this from about, I think, 10 years ago. They cut that section out because that also rotted through. So they had traffic down to one little single lane for a weekend while they did the replacement work. Continuing down, one thing obviously New York does not really do is clean up the highways very often. This debris has been here as long as I can remember. By the way, this is original. Anytime you see rust like this, it's original, but not this pipe right here. This is not original. That's looking back the way I just came. Now, I took this picture to show you the extent of some of the rust, and it's actually right through. Now you're saying, Joe, where is it right through? You have to actually look carefully. See this green foliage? These are the trees from the highway below me, right here. This is through, this is through. And as we go along, you're going to get a better viewpoint of this. This is, this is something to consider. Now these are small holes, all right? These are bigger ones right here. This is not foliage from right here. This is foliage from the highway below. These are through. Again, we're heading down now. I took this picture because apparently many years ago, somebody really nailed the steel right here and bent it. I thought that was quite interesting. Also notice how the pipe here is not connected. I'm not even sure what this is for. This roadway down here, this comes from Dykeman Street and joins the Harlem River Drive. This has all been repaved as the Harlem River Drive from the base of this ramp all the way down has been rebuilt and repaved like new. It is smooth as silk. Only this ramp is bumpy like this. And that is, as I said, the city is going to be replacing it. There's an original light pole, or lack thereof. This is one of the few lights I did see. The pole, I believe, is original, but the mast, this section here, and the globe, of course, that is not. This is a picture of an alloy wheel, or what's left of it. So you guys who have alloy wheels on your car, and when you hit a really big pothole, or even a curb, this is what happens. Chunks break off the entire wheel. You're talking probably between five and $700 to buy a brand new alloy wheel. They don't last here in the Northeast. We have the worst weather and some pretty bad roads. Here's an expansion joint that's popping back through. We're heading down. On either side of this ramp, I call these monuments, but I'm not sure if that's the appropriate term, but they've erected scaffolding because these are in serious disrepair and they're compromised. When I got down here, for some reason, a large amount of fire trucks were responding to the area. I counted 12 of them, as you will see. There's another picture of the monument. There's your scaffolding, see that? And over there too. The concrete is very questionable and it's filled with cracks. This is the walkway heading southbound. You can see from here on, it's smooth as silk. Here come more fire trucks. These guys are heading down. The ones I just showed you are heading up. 
but I think they were heading up to make a U-turn to get off at 155th Street. That's what I think. Now we've got fire trucks coming on this side, too. Okay. Story. This is a vault that leads underneath the elevated section of the highway I just showed you. I would love to get under there. I would pay money out of my pocket to get in there to see what it looks like. In my entire life, I've only seen it open once because a section of the highway had caved in. The beams actually failed. So they had contractors come in to shore up the roadway. And I passed by one day when they were working, but there was nowhere for me to park, as you can see here, so I couldn't get in there. But next time that thing's open, I'm going in. There's another entrance way to the vault. I've never seen that one open yet. Now this is the structure that I talked about earlier where I was showing you the gaping holes. From this angle, look, all the way across you can see them. A little close-up view. A lot of rust. This planking here is put in so that debris does not fall down. All the rusty beams here are original and these shinier ones, these brighter ones, were all put in and replaced I'd say a good 10-15 years ago. That's High Bridge. There's a really good look at it. You can see night and day. Rust is original right here, all original. This is all replacement. These were very badly decayed. And the only reason the city doesn't spend money to rehabilitate this is because it's deemed structurally unsafe. Now I shouldn't say structurally unsafe. Structurally inadequate. Okay? So it's going to be totally replaced. Here is a vault that I showed you guys about eight years ago. It was open at that time, but it's closed and they got wood planking up here. High bridge. High bridge again. Now, we're going to begin walking up an obscure path into High Bridge Park under this viaduct. Some of you guys who've been watching my videos for years will remember I've covered this section before. We're going to cover it again. This can be accessed from the Harlem River Drive approach from Dykeman Street. I came down here on foot last time I had my car. This is very obscure and hardly anybody is ever around here. This used to be open. I made videos earlier where I was walk under here, but the city has deemed it unsafe for two reasons. Number one, the structure, as I said, is prone to losing chunks of concrete and they don't want anybody to get hit in the head. And number two, you got some sketchy people in the area. I think you know what I mean. Look at that mess. That's what I'm talking about. Going up this obscure ramp. I took this picture. There's a, some kind of a blue tank here. And I just have no idea what it's used for. Homeless encampments dot this area underneath here. Quite a few of them. A lot of, a lot of garbage under here, and a lot more as you're going to see as we go through the video. Up this lonely, desolate ramp we go. This gate is open, so if you really wanted to get under the viaduct that I just showed you, you could go in here. While I would like to go in and cover this today, I have too much else to do, and I don't want to make this a two-hour video. Maybe in the future I'll go under there again. In fact, I probably will once the city officially decides to set a date when they're going to close this viaduct. Up a little further. Once you may remember, 
about 10 years ago, I drove my car up here. If you're going to come here, you might want to bring a friend with you, unless you're extremely crazy, like myself, and you're going to come up here alone. Graffiti guys, including SP, have been here. I really like this area. You know, I got to be honest with you. I walked through here when I was a little kid, like maybe 15, 16, and it's mainly the same except for the path. It used to be all dirt, and there used to be junk and derelict cars under here, and it was a lot, a lot more sketchier back in the 70s. Here you can see, this is looking up at the viaduct. These are sections here where the highway fell through and they put concrete patches in. You can see here too. It's not that strong guys. Continuing up, we're heading up to the skate park. The graffiti guys did a number here. This is one place I'm going to tell you you're not going to see NYPD patrolling here because there's really no way to get in here. You might you might see them on horseback, but truthfully, I've never seen any mounted units up here in Highbridge Park, at least not in this section. This ramp up here has been rebuilt and replaced. So has this, the Alexander Hamilton Bridge. This is looking to my left. The black fence, I believe here, the black railing is original. That goes up to Highbridge Park. Okay, we're almost going to go underneath the Alexander Hamilton Bridge now. A lot of graffiti guys have been here. The green ramp up here is basically where I started from earlier. That's original. This is all replaced. Now we're walking underneath the Alexander Hamilton Bridge. This has all been rebuilt here to the left and to the right. That's looking down. That's where I just came from. All rebuilt. This is entering the skate park. If you're a skater, you might want to try your skills here and see if you can handle some of these rails and these ramps. Let me just jump back. That guy there, there were only two people I encountered in this park. That gentleman and one more. That guy right there. See him? Helicopter. Note the cloudy day. That's where I just came from. Skate park. Here are your ramps on either side. Okay. We're heading towards the end of this section of the park. I'm going to be going up those stairs shortly. There's a better look at your skate park. I really should have gone in there and done a, a better shot of the skating area, but I didn't. Heading out. Looking down one more time. See the ramps? See? Hey, if you're a skater and you're from the Washington Heights area, or if you're willing to come to this area, you might want to check this out. You can see that the traffic here is backed up, heading westbound to New Jersey on the Alexander Hamilton Bridge. We're now going to walk up, and we're going to look back down where we just came from. This path is going to actually lead out of the park, that leads further down into Highbridge Park. And I might make a video about that. I would like to explore that section of the park, but I really just spent too much time today already doing some exploring, so I have to start packing some of my eBay orders, so I'm going to have to bring this to a close. This arch is what we're going to go under. 
because this leads out. How do you like this original brick? Up and out. This is the 181st Street Bridge, which, believe it or not, was totally, totally rehabilitated and replaced in, I believe the year was 1980, and already it's a crumbling mess. Each side has one lane closed because it's structurally deficient. And guess what? They made it out of concrete. I despise seeing bridges and viaducts made totally out of concrete. It's okay for a base, but not for the entire bridge. This is looking down to an original ramp from the 181st Street Bridge that leads to the George Washington Bridge. Look at the amount of garbage and filth down there. People just throw their garbage out like crazy. See it? Look at that. Disgusting. And this is basically where we're going to bring this to a close. We started on Amsterdam, and we're going to end on Amsterdam. A few random points that I will tell you about from today's video that I saw. Believe it or not, I saw an over-the-road tractor-trailer, 18-wheeler, getting on to the lower level going westbound, which is a huge, huge violation. Tractor-trailers are not allowed on the lower level of the bridge. I couldn't do anything about it. I was behind him, but I wanted to get off at the exit for 181st Street because I was actually heading here to make this video. So he got across. If the Port Authority cops got him, he's in for a world of trouble. But anyway, guys, I'm crazy New York driver and you're not. Thank you for watching my exploration video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It tells me I'm doing a good job and you like my content. If you didn't like it, tell me something you'd like me to do. Maybe another neighborhood you'd like me to check out. And if possible, I will. Remember, guys, my time is very limited. I can only do these videos on Sundays or major holidays. And if you live in the New York City area like I do, the last four Sundays it has rained. This is the first dry Sunday in over a month. And as you can see, it's totally cloudy, just like always. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. It took a lot of effort to make this video, okay? So again, I don't mind doing it. I enjoy making these videos. And I will go where other people won't go because I don't care. Thank you, guys. Rock on and peace.